Oh my God, 97.3, because I've got Tony fever, because it's Tony season at the Y-N-T-A-A-Y minis and the world. Hello, I'm Chris Smith, and with me as always, but not always, is Paolo. You hey. know, today, <laughs> hello, Paolo. You're here for a good one, because it's Tony Award nomination Ooh. week. And we're here to talk about some of the nominations, including Bright Star, Bright Star. the new hit musical from Steve Martin and Edie Burkell, and Love features the Martin. song, Sun is gonna shine again, sun is gonna shine again, I said the sun is gonna shine again, sun is gonna shine again. Also nominated is Hamilton. It got 16 nominations. 16 nominations, wow. Did you know that that hasn't happened in the history of theater? The producers got 15, and years later, um, uh, Billy Elliot got 15. Oh, wow. But Fun fact. This, is a, this is a record. Also nominated is Andrew Lloyd Webber's hit show, oh. School, School of Rock. Rock, and the new show, Shuffle Along which has the longest subtitle, or the making of the musical sensation of 1921 and all that followed. Wow. Isn't that lovely. amazing? And Waitress is also nominated. This year's exciting because we have five nominations instead of the four wow. that are usual. Waitress so. has Sarah Bareilles right in the music, too. Great yes, music. Sarah Bareilles. It is a beautiful score, and it has four nominations. Also, um, up for Best Revival of Musical is The Color Purple with Jennifer Hudson. She didn't get a nomination, but mm. her co-stars did, mm. and I hear they're wonderful. And She Loves Me, she loves which me. is one of my favorite shows. Um, and, and look what else is nominated. Fiddler on the Roof, oh, wow. Sunrise, Sunset. Sunrise, sunset, sunset, and Spring Awakening. This is the Deaf West production. Oh, yes. I saw that at Kelsey Fullerton. Oh, we did what did you think? I thought it was wonderful. I love when they climb on the library walls and dance and throw books off the shelves. And it was A marvelous score from Duncan Sheik, who this season did American Psycho, which oh. only got two nominations for scene, you know, scenic and lighting. Mm -hmm. But that's wonderful. Technical achievements. Yes. Yeah, good for them. Um, some of our favorites from um, Smash... Um, Leslie Odom Jr. Oh, that's not a very good picture of them. And Megan Hilty were nominated. Him oh. for Hamilton and her for Noises Off, the play. Nice. And um, <coughs> Andrea Martin. Andrea from Martin from S my Big Fat Greek uh, yes, Wedding. Yes, from my Big Fat Greek Wedding and SCTV. SCTV. And Lynn Manuel Miranda and Renee Elise Goldsberry, who you mm. know from One Life to Live. Mm. They got nominated for Hamilton. He's got multiple nominations. Wow. Laurie Metcalf from Misery. Mm. But Bruce Willis did not get a nomination. Oh, wow. Jessica Lang got a nomination for A Long Day's Journey Into Night. And look, your girl, Jane Krakowski from 30 Rock, was nominated for She Loves Me. Oh, awesome. She's also in Kimmy Schmidt. Number is she? Is she a regular? She's a regular. She's one of the leads. Oh, I've got Very to watch funny. Kimmy Schmidt. Love Jane Krakowski. Oh, and my girl, Lara Benanti from Nashville and Supergirl, um, mm -hmm. was also nominated for um, She Loves Me. Nice. And look who was nominated. Um, Jonathan Groff is nominated for um, his work in Hamilton. Nice. Also known for his work in Frozen. And Glee. And Glee. And Glee. And look, George C. Wolf got a nomination for he did the book for Shuffle Along and he's the director. Oh, I just love George C. Wolf. A funny story about him. One time. He came to my workplace, which I won't say where it is because I don't want you to come and assassinate me. <laughs> and um, I said, Ah, George C. Wolf, what are you doing here? Because I just love him. He directed um, Elaine Stritch at Liberty, and he ah. directed Caroline or Change, big Tony nominees. Nice, that's awesome. Um, Elaine Stritch. Yes. And um, look who was nominated Michael Arden for his direction in um, um, the hit show, um, um, Spring Awakening. 
Um, I saw Michael Arden in the show Bear. Really? It was a very good show. Mm. But anyway, we're so excited about the Tony Awards on June 12th on most of these CBS stations. Will you be watching, Paul? Um, possibly. Maybe. Maybe tune in. Definitely. Well, he'll definitely be watching, and then we'll be here talking about it, and Lucius will be back talking about the Tonys as we get closer.